video, I'm going to show you how to work Portuguese knitting, and I've had tons of requests for this, and I, I don't know why I waited so long to show you this. It is such a cool technique. Something really important about Portuguese knitting is that the resulting stitches end up being identical to stitches that are worked using either continental or English American style knitting. So once you practice this for a little while and you get uh, your tension is good and matches the tension that you have when you're knitting in your normal style, you can interchange these one for the other. Now Portuguese knitting, it's, it, this style of knitting is called Portuguese knitting, but it's the traditional style of knitting in lots of different countries. We just stuck with Portuguese knitting for the name of it. And in these countries where this is the way to knit and the traditional way to knit, Americans aren't going to believe this. But when they're working garter stitch, they purl every row. Now I know that other countries in the world aren't as down on purling as Americans are, <laughs> but if you ask, uh, nine out of 10 Americans I think would prefer knitting the knit stitch way over purl stitches. I don't know why. It's, um, I think because a lot of us are right-handed throwers, purling isn't as easy as it is for people who knit continental. Anyway, the crazy thing is Portuguese knitting Portuguese purling is so easy that it's easier than knitting, and when they work garter stitch, they purl every row. So let's talk about getting set up to knit Portuguese knitting. There are a couple of different ways. Um, well, there's one way that I have I've learned to do this, and that's to put the yarn around the back of your neck like this. There are little pins that you can get where the yarn just hooks into the pin. The point is that everything with Portuguese knitting, the tension and the stitches, are everything happens on the front of the work. Nothing happens on the back of the work. So we want the tension to come from the front and that's what this is going to do. The next thing you want to do is with your right hand, you want to wrap the working yarn around your middle finger. And all you really want to do is to make it so that when you look at the back of your hand, it looks like you have a yarn ring on your middle finger. So this is the setup here. This is how we're doing this. I know it sounds crazy so far. <laughs> it's crazy, um, but the stitches are so simple and awesome, I think you're really going to like this. Now, a disclaimer, when I'm working Portuguese knitting, I end up with, I think everybody probably does, ends up with the work coming closer and closer to me as I, I uh, run out of yarn, and then I pull it back down again. I'm going to try to keep this on camera and try to keep my attention my tension uh, loose enough so that the work is always going to be on camera and not up, <laughs> up here. <laughs> but it could prove to be a challenge. We'll see how it goes. Let's go ahead and take a look. So here is my work. I am ready to work a knit row. So the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is the knit stitch. So I have an empty needle in my right hand. I have my, my, my yarn ring on my right hand. Go up under the yarn, the working yarn, with your uh, needle. I'm forgetting all the words. You just want to start like this. Go into the stitch like a knit stitch, but keep the needle up front. Then take your thumb, flip the yarn over the needle, and pull that stitch through. Don't worry, we have this whole row to go through, so I'm going to definitely show you this lots more times. So go in as if to knit, but keep the needle up front. This is the normal way to go in, if to knit, right? We want to keep the needle up front. Take your thumb and flick that yarn over the needle, and then pull that stitch through and off. Then when you pull that stitch through, all we're really doing is taking the tip of the needle and pulling it under the loop on the needle, like that. through the front of the stitch, flick the yarn, pull the stitch through and off. Whoops. See how easy this is? I'm in a Portuguese knitting trance right now.
We're being so quiet in knitting, you can hear a truck go by. Okay. Now I'm going to turn the work and show you the purl stitch. The purl stitch that is so easy. Okay. I'm all set up just like before. Purl stitch is surprisingly like um, working it as a continental or English American knitter. Put your needle in just like you're going to work a normal purl stitch. Flick the yarn with your thumb over the needle and pull that stitch through. That is it. It is almost exactly like working a purl stitch, but just the difference of having the yarn coming from the front with the tension being pulled forward, it makes the stitch so easy to work. Whoops. I need to free up some more yarn here. And you can see with such tiny movements to make a purl stitch happen, why someone would want to work purl every row purl stitch. Of course you would if it's this easy. Whoops. Okay, that's both the knit and the purl stitch. I just want to show you if I can here. I went really slow for demonstration purposes, but even though this isn't my primary way of knitting, I can get some good speed going with this style. Uh, whoops. With this style of knitting and so I want to show you like what full speed is for me and this is not my normal style of knitting and if I go if you want to see my full speed continental knitting it's kind of pathetic Portuguese knitting is kind of so easy to work whoops my tensions off Isn't this fun? Anyway, this is probably too fast to follow if you're learning, so be sure to go back to the slow demonstration at the beginning of the video. I'll finish this row because I could do this all day because this is really fun. Okay. Well, that's how you do both uh, Portuguese knitting and purling. Um, I hope you give it a try. It's really fun to do. You might actually find, I've heard a lot of people say that it's a good way to um, change up your style of knitting if your hands are starting to get fatigued or if you have issues with inflammation in your hands. If you change up your style of knitting, sometimes that can help. I'm not a doctor. This is just things that I've heard from other people. Anyway, have fun with it and good luck. Mm -hmm.